Hello and welcome. This is going to be Hatha Yoga for self-love, opening up your heart. So let's begin seated on our mat, cross-legged, hands resting on the knees, palms facing down. And we'll just begin with easy seated pose, taking slow inhales and exhales and closing the eyes if that feels comfortable for you. Just allow yourself to become nice and centred. Whatever's coming up for you right now, just be aware of it. Relaxing your shoulders as you breathe. And just shifting your palms up towards the ceiling, opening your eyes. Being aware of how you feel. Let's move into our second asana, our second pose, which is camel pose. And this is a beautiful back bend. We're going to start just tucking the toes, placing the fingers on the lower back and thumbs are going to be on your outer edge. I'm going to push my chest forward. And as I do that, I'm going to shift my head backwards and also push my pelvis further forward too. So really maintaining that strength in your neck. You can also release the feet if that feels a bit more comfortable. Coming down, we're going to try this now with the hand. So the hands are going to come on the back of your heels. Same exact thing. Pushing up nice and high, slow deep breath. And slowly releasing down. Let's come into a wide-legged balasana, also known as wide-legged child's pose. So your knees are going to come as wide as the mat. You're going to slowly walk your hands forward, rest your forehead on the mat. Take slow deep breaths as your hair. Really grounding down, opening up your hips as well. Shifting the head forward, we're going to go into a striking cobra. We're going to go head, chest and the rest of the body. Starting with the hands nice and flat down. Putting pressure into the hands and the forearms coming up. And this is sphinx pose. We're going to hold it here. Taking slow deep breaths, lifting the chest and slightly lifting the head. Coming down now into a cobra so as your hair allow your shoulders and your elbows are slightly bent slight back bend with the head as well slow deep breaths slowly and gently coming down and then coming all the way up we're going to go into puppy pose so i'm just going to shift my knees backwards and then melt my hands and my shoulders into the floor Slow, deep breaths. Your bottom is nice and high. Really pressing the shoulders down. Releasing any tension that you feel. Releasing it all out. Coming up very slowly now. We're going to make our way all the way up to standing. Allow your head to be the very last thing. Take your time. Use the hands to walk you up if needed as well. We're going to scoop the hands in front of us all the way nice and high and come into a namaste. Bringing the elbows slightly together and a slight back bend as well just to open up our heart even more. Be aware of yourself and your body and that deep connection. Bring your hands to your heart centre. 